I like the combination of different professors from different schools. Like, so we have professor coming from UCL, and then we have professors from from Beida. And I could not wish for more because it gives you different perspectives. I, I have been on a roller coaster, and that roller coaster is not close to an end. My name is Sabrina Van. I'm 26 years old and I am Chinese, ethnically Chinese. My parents are from Shandong, but I grew up in Vienna. I'm still like until my bachelor's degree, so I was around like 22, 21. That was the first time that I then afterwards moved out from Austria. And after then, I've actually never really returned back again to Austria. I did my bachelor in uh, like European economy and entrepreneurship. And then afterwards, I went to uh, into the logistic industry. So I went I went for Lufthansa and also for FedEx. And I worked there as a so project management slash industry engineer. But then afterwards, I actually realized I'm not the person to work in a corporation. I want to do startups. And an idea came up by my co-founder. We, we started our own startup in, in Germany. So it's a furniture subscription company and we initiated it uh, this year. So we basically, with, with our startup, we want to give you more flexibility. In a globalized world, I think everyone should be able to stay flexible and stay mobile, you know, uh, because many people, especially in my generation, they work for a place in, for one, two years and then they move on. And the last thing they want to do is settle down in, 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 in one place, one apartment. It starts already by, by not owning your furniture. We, we provide you the, the furniture and if you leave, we, we take it back. So the name is basically Mobello. Is a, it's a, it's, it's a, it actually means uh, furniture in Germany, but it's a, with a little bit of uh, Italian, you know, like like taste. Uh, that's always like one thing. If I want to express somebody, like, uh, impress somebody, I'll just be like, yeah, I'm a student from Beda. <laughs> it already says like how they treat me all of a sudden differently. If I just say I'm, I'm a foreigner, like I'm here to, to study, they'd be different than if I say I'm, I'm studying at Beijing University. Then all of a sudden they're like, wow, wow, you're, you must be amazing then. Or you're like, oh, you must be smart then or something like this. So, so yeah, uh, uh, definitely enjoying that. <laughs> After my bachelor's, I wanted to do a gap year, and so the first thing popped up it was like I want to go to China. You know, like I, I wanna, I wanna uh, understand my own culture a little bit better. You know, where my parents are from, where I am originally from. So I went to do an internship in Hangzhou for half a year, and that was the first time I actually got in touch with like really, you know, being, living in China. And I, I liked it so much because I actually finally felt like I, I, you know, like I'm accepted, like. Culturally, you know, I'm accepted here. I am Chinese, and I'm proud of it. And, uh, I had to go back. I went to Germany then, and I worked there for two, three years. And then I wanted to. I've always wanted to come back to China. So then I applied for for the for the MBA here at Beijing University because I knew that if I wanted to do something big in future, like in career-wise, I'm gonna go for one of the best universities in China. Growing up in a, a Chinese environment with my parents, we always hear Beida, you know, Tsinghua, and, 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 or like in Fudan, you know, in, in Shanghai. But um, I'm originally from the north, right? Like, so, so from Shandong. And so I wanted to understand my own culture better and be in Beijing. It was just like a question between Tsinghua or Beida. The Bimba program has just been something that I was so interested in that I chose to come here. I could not wish for more because it gives you different perspectives. You get in touch with different professors from different universities and, and different way of seeing things. So you get actually the best out of both, you know, like both universities. It's actually more than I thought it would be. 
Like it's, it's really amazing and I'm, I'm just being really honest here. I had high expectations at, at the beginning, I was kind of still off, you know, dealing with the cultural shock and everything. But then uh, we have so many amazing people here, like besides the students, the professors are like, they're so broad minded. They inspire me in so many different aspects in my life. I think I can learn so much from them, also from, from my classmates, because they're all like ethnic Chinese they're, or they're locally Chinese. and. Um, so I'm in this great environment and that's basically what I wanted when I came here, right? Before I came here, I really wanted to be exposed in the Chinese culture and I think I have, I have that here. I think different. Uh, I like people who are very different from me or like, or generally just not like every, everyone else. So no one is surrounded by European people and here I'm surrounded by Chinese people but with a very open-minded mindset, right? They want to learn and, and they want to understand my culture better, you know, like, like uh, openness to exchange different perspectives. I like the combination of different professors from different schools, like so we have Basically because we're in a corporation of UCL, we have a professor coming from UCL and then we have professors from, from Beida and I could not wish for more because it gives you different perspectives. So you get actually the best out of both, you know, like both universities. I, uh, I got actually really lucky, like uh, everyone who's doing the Bimbor is actually really lucky to be in this classrooms, like in this Hutong style. I really didn't think that before I came here that I would be surrounded by those really ancient Chinese style uh, classrooms and everything. Being surrounded by that is like every time I want to take a break I'll just like walk around here you know and see the beauty of, of China and on campus it's so close. I think like there are many options here, there are many programs who like in, in and also it paid out which will um, encourage you to be independent, to, like, to, to, to start your own startup. Then we have also entrepreneurship courses um, coming up. Uh, you learn about management, you learn about leadership. But uh, for me, it's, uh, it's basically if you have Beijing University as who's backing you up, you know, who's at the back and who's encouraging you, um, you just also get a feeling I can do anything, you know, and, and that, that name is basically uh, a business card. And whenever I go to events, you, you are immediately somebody interesting. Well, so far, I, I would say, um, I think in, in, in terms of innovation technology, Germany has a lot to catch up with. And um, I actually recently also joined a community which is called German Innovators. It's part of that startup grind community. And we basically are focusing on how to ex make it possible to exchange knowledge or technology or anything, culture, between Germany and, 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 and China. And every time something comes up, it's basically how how far behind Germany is, you know, in, in, in terms of innovation, because of that data protection, data, that strong data protection. And it's not, not, it's nothing like bad or anything. It's just a fact that that uh, because of data protection, and everything, it um, and maybe also a certain mindset in, in Germany, it might um, it might uh, uh, hold them back a little bit from from you know innovating and getting better. But but that's why we're here, right? I mean, that's why I want to also make it possible so that they can exchange and China and Germany both can kind of like benefit from it. Um, I'm, I'm still trying to, to figure it out. <laughs> well, in general, uh, it, it was quite a, a cultural shock for me at the beginning. Um, then I loved it. And then I, I got into this this wave of, of happiness, you know, like because afterwards you kind of have figured it out. You, the good thing here is basically you you have a personal achievement every day because for me as kind of foreigner it's also difficult to deal with the language in terms of reading and, and speaking I can speak but maybe but not that good maybe on reading I'm still learning so it's it's hard but every day you improve and that small small win those small wins are making me happier I can see my improvement from four months ago in comparison to now so I am slowly falling in love in, with Beijing. And let's see, let's see if I'm actually ever gonna go back, right? <laughs> well, my future plans, um, my, my long-term plan is definitely to create a bridge between like China, Germany, with like, like, like the German speaking area, like Switzerland, China, uh, Austria, because my think like uh, in the competitive market, like it is now on, in, the, on, on the, in the world, with my competitive edge that I grew up in Austria, like, or in, in Germany too. And I worked there for a while, I understand the German market, and. I'm, I'm ethnically Chinese 
and I'm trying to understand the Chinese market now better, you know, to try to understand my own culture better, and then I can be the bridge between them. And I, I really hope, like, I don't know in what ways, like, with, with what um, project, but that is my long-term plan. I think just uh, get, get your own opinion. You know, like make make yourself a uh, own picture of it. I mean, there's a huge misconception about China, about uh, Chinese university, maybe Chinese people even. If they just have a little bit of uh, curiosity and open-mindedness, uh, then they 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 would just love it here. You know, I think most people I talk to, like, were internationals who thought about China, like I don't know, third world, you know, a, a, city, a country. But they come here and they fall in love, and so many people have not left, and they're not really planning to leave Beijing. And I, I think it says something. I would definitely suggest like try it out. This is this is an amazing adventure. If this experience here in China is, has been incredible for me so far. It has only been four months, but I feel like I am such a different person in in, in way of seeing things and um, how I deal with people. I, I have been on a roller coaster, and that roller coaster is not close to an end. It's still it's still like driving uh, ups and downs, but that's that's how I like it.